in 1968, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles kicked off the Boston Summer Thing program. Before performing at Carter Playground, Smokey was interviewed by Jimmy Earlybird at WYLD. Smokey talked about what he saw as his responsibility as a black performer and the kind of advice he would give young people working at careers in entertainment. Do you feel that entertainers such as yourself and James Brown should become more involved in uh, the black man's problems today? Well, uh, in other words, we are involved because we're black men. So we're involved automatically, whether or not we want to be, we're involved. And uh, I think that it's a good thing, in other words, for someone who can, whatever you say is going to be recognized, you know, if you mm -hmm. get in that position, to speak out this and, is to, what say, I was say, and to say what you think of it, in other words, because uh, if not, you can be used as an example. You can be used, well, okay, so here's a black man here who is successful and uh, he lives here in this country and he's not going through all these repercussions, so it's not true. But that's not so. In other words, you have to let them know that you realize that this is happening and that uh, you feel like something should be done about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, Smokey, do you find uh, in your travels throughout the country and the world that uh, a lot of uh, uh, up-and-coming artists will ask you for information of just how do you become a recording artist or what's the first step to take what do you what advice do you give a youngster like this well the first advice that uh, we would give someone is to find out if they're still attending school if they have not reached the point where they've graduated from high school we always prompt them to do so because it is what you really need in other words because you cannot forget how to sing or dance or whatever you want to do in this business during the course of going to school and school is far more important if you have not received a high school education then pursuing any type of career as far as I'm concerned so uh, we always uh, prompt the kids to stay in school if they're out of school then it's going to take a lot of hard work and uh, if they're in a group they're going to have to understand and love one another and stick together mm -hmm. do you have an opportunity such as you're uh, enjoying in Boston uh, to visit the areas uh, the, uh, the, the the ghettos to say hello to the kids and to advise them to stay in school well, late, Jimmy, that's, we've been doing quite a bit of that, and it's been a great thing. I mean, I've really enjoyed it, and I'm sure the other guys have too, because we have a chance to mingle with the kids and to let them know that we are for them mm -hmm. and to, uh, like I said, try to impress upon them how important education is or trying to gear your life in a positive form. Well, I enjoy people. Very much. I enjoy meeting people who uh, come to see us and uh, who come to the dressing room and uh, sit there and talk. I, I like to know what people are thinking and doing because you have to stay on top of people in order to be in this business, I believe. Uh, you cannot isolate yourself. When a person becomes successful in the entertainment field and uh, they get big shotish or something like that, it's so stupid because you're only a human being. You're only what you start out being, and you just happen to be. Ever since there have been men on earth, there's been somebody entertaining. So now it's not anything different or anything new. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one. Oh, good. Oh, Kiss you too. Kiss you back. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you ever go wash this side of my face again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just think of the dirt you <laughs> That's <okay>. SF. <laughs> I would like for our group uh, to be legendary. I mean, in other words, not to just exist for now and not to be known in future years or thought of by someone or known by someone. I mean, even if we stop singing, I would like for it to be a thing whereas, for instance, I don't care how young a child is, usually they've heard of the Mills Brothers who have been in this business for 50 years, I'm sure. But still, they're the Mills Brothers, and uh, their name will be legendary as far as this business goes. And uh, I would like, uh, if possible, for the same thing to happen for us. <laughs>